Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I want to show you how to use the QPainter widget using the PyKidify library in Python. So the QPainter widget or the QPainter uh, class is actually not the easiest uh, widget to work with in my opinion. And it took me a while to finally to uh, understand the behavior and uh, different methods and how to apply uh, the widget to my PyQDFi uh, application. Now open your Python editor and create a blank script. So we're going to write a very simple uh, PyQDFi program to demonstrate how to use the QPainter widget. So here I'm going to import the system module. Actually, let me zoom in a little bit more, make that a little bit bigger. And I'm going to import from the pyqdfy.qt widgets. And I'm going to import the Q application class and the Q widget class. And next, I'm going to uh, import the qpainter uh, class from the qt GUI uh, module. And I also need the qpix uh, map class and qpin. So in this exercise, I'm going to upload an image uh, using the QPix map uh, class. And I'm going to upload the uh, the image to the QPainter uh, object. So here, let me first of all create an image path. And I'm going to just grab a, a image from my uh, desktop. So I'm going to use this uh, image. So it's an image of a cable car that I took in San Francisco. And then grab the file path. And next, I'm going to create my main module. So I'm going to create my application instance. Okay, now I'm going to create a demo class using the key widgets as the parent class. And here I'm going to do the initiate, initialize. I'm actually going to make the font a little bit smaller since I cannot see very well. Okay, I send this a little bit better. So here I'm going to construct QPix map uh, attribute. So here I'm going to just name this as uh, self.image uh, QPix map. And here I want to provide image path. In general, when we build PyQt application, and we'll use the paint uh, event signal to fire the, the paint event. So let me give you an example. So here we have the self. The self uh, is referencing to the uh, key widget class, which is our uh, parent class. And here we need to provide a, a event signal. So now here let me uh, type something. So let me just type self direct, and this is going to print the uh, the geometry of the of the uh, queue application. Now here uh, let me. Uh, construct the, the demo application object. So here demo is equals to demo. And I want to show the application. Now if I launch the application, okay, so here I have a typo. Q widget is not defined. Oh. So here I made a typo. Okay. Now let me try again. So here I forgot to uh, call the function. Now, if I launch the application, and noticing that, so right now if I uh, resize the, the application, and you can see that uh, the, this paint event will fire. So basically, every time when you make a change to the appearance of your uh, Qt application, uh, so if you draw something on the application, if you insert a label or if, if you uh, update a text, that's going to, everything that you, you do that impacting the appearance of your queue application and this paint event will fire. So first I'm going to uh, create a paint uh, object. 
So the QPen class is going to basically be used as a, a pen that you draw on your uh, Q application. I'm going to set the uh, width to five pixels. And here we're going to upload an image to the Q application. So here I'm going to construct my uh, Q painter object. And next I'm going to upload the image using the draw pix map method. And inside the parameter we want to provide the, uh, the corner value. So here using the QREX uh, method and that would provide us with the, uh, the corners of the, uh, the required parameter values. So we can just use that function uh, instead of uh, manually typing everything. And as well as that's going to make everything more dynamic. And for the next parameter, we need to provide the image. So the image is actually uh, stored using the QPix map uh, class. So here we can show a self dot image QPix map uh, instance. So we just need to provide self dot image. And next, I'm going to draw a circle uh, on top of the image uh, that I'll be uploading using the drop pix map uh, method. So here I'm going to set the pen. And from the uh, Q Painter class, there's a method called draw ellipse. And here we need to provide the left and the top value. So I'm just going to use 300 and 300. And we need to provide the width and the height. So I'm going to just do 500 and uh, 500. Yeah, that should be okay. And that should be it. Now, if we save the Python script and run it, oops, uh, so the circle is too big. So let me make that as a 150 and 150. Now, if we launch the PyQ application, so here, uh, the paint draw pix map is going to uh, look at look at this image and upload the image to the uh, Qt application. And next, while using the draw ellipse to draw this uh, block circle on top of the image. So that basically is the concept using the QPainter uh, widget. You can do many things with the QPainter widget. This is just one small example showing you the basic of how to use the QPainter widget. And I hope you guys found the tutorial useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.